Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit. And to fill you with hope today, we're going to chat with David Bowie and we're going to talk about current events. So many of you know here at Above Life Channel, I channel all sorts of different celebrities in the afterlife and influential people. And David Bowie has a playlist here because he is so interesting to talk with. His vibrational energy as an afterlife spirit is very ascended. He's more connected to kind of a teacher or very wise mentoring energy in the afterlife. That is how I connect with him. So just because I feel him that way doesn't necessarily mean that that's how you will connect with him. And I encourage you, as you well know, to connect with these spirits in the afterlife for yourself and practice that during the time of this video. Practice feeling into his energy and maybe grab a notebook or um, and a pen and, and write down some things that kind of come through to you in between the spaces that he and I are speaking, you know, because you will get additional information and that this is how you practice it. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna invite David in. Ah, oh, thank you right away. I literally feel him and he kind of comes in. It's, it's kind of funny. I get a lot of questions about how do people appear to me in the afterlife? Like, how can they have clothes and how can they like have a drink or smoke a cigarette or how can they, you know, how is that even possible? And I'm like, I don't have, I, I don't make the, I didn't create the, this process of connection. I didn't um, invent it. I didn't, you know, it's not my, um, my personal creation. So I don't know how it's possible. I just know that it is because I see that clairvoyantly. I see them. And so when it comes to um, David, I see he's coming in right now as like a circle, which is some people consider that an orb or a circle of light or ball of light. Oftentimes it's really common to see spirit guides or spirit guests, let's call them guests, <laughs> as a circle of light. It's real common for people to do that with archangels or angel energy too. So just because you don't see them as a person and you might just see them as a ball of light, it's the same difference. It's just energy. It's just in the interpretation, the way that you're receiving the, the essence of that person, the energy of that former person. And the essence of that former person, that's spirit. And we all have spirit. And that's how we can connect in the first place. So David comes in as kind of a circle and I can see his face. <laughs> He's very um, astral, cosmic, um, very universe oriented, very galactic in his energy presence. And I've mentioned that previously in other videos. He definitely has that kind of expanded, broad consciousness perspective. And because of that, so for some of you who were David Bowie fans and human life here, you might have a harder time connecting to him at this higher vibration, or maybe not. Maybe not, maybe you've kind of always known him as that. You've seen his performances or his music as this high vibrational, intuitive, creative, and completely expressive energy. And that creative, intuitive, expressive energy is the easiest way, like a super highway for intuitive connection or psychic connection. So, all right, so David, nice to see you. Let's bring you in energetically. Guys, take a moment, take some breaths in, some intentional connection to energy with David. It's important to do that, I think, with him because you literally can kind of plug into his energy like a power cord, <laughs> you know, just plug right in. I'm gonna do that here. I'm looking kind of out the window here. I have a window in front of me in my, my new uh, at-home office space, <laughs> my recording space. So, all right. Oh, he's so, I love to connect with its energy because it is so insightful, so intuitive. All right, lots of throat chakra energy, lots of throat energy with the connection. Lots of a light blue, like a crystal blue, which reminds me of the energy of water, like just pure, beautiful water, and also could be the sky air element and both. And it's intentional, he says it's intentional to have both of the layers of connection because some people will feel the water and the soothing of the water, the crisp water um, as comforting. And some people will see the 
the um, air element or the sky as a representation of air, which is super creative and expressive. So David, which one do you identify with most? Or would you say from your human perspective, I, air, most certainly air, he says air, quite, quite certainly air air because it's so creative you know it's very expressive good now he's kind of taken a little bit more of a human form which kind of has an outline of his body he's got a leather jacket on that's kind of like brown and he says um air it's very creative you know it's very it's very creative in uh in this in this respect he says in this aspect that that you mentioned he said you 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 said astral so so in this aspect of of where um of how we are connecting, it's just how, how we're communicating. The element, the air is, is the most um, freeing. It really does free the spirit. If you are, um, he says, for all of um, those creators out there, for those of you who may be having blocks or feeling blocked um, creatively, uh, uh, the, he says, invite, I invite you to think about how limited you've been in the past in regards to the circumstance, situation, or difficulties that you are facing so that you can embrace and transcend what you are looking to achieve or expand upon. See you guys, I'm shifting into this, this like higher teaching mode he does right away. Before I get too far into that, I feel I can really feel it. Before I get too far into that, I just wanna make mention that clearly he said, for those who are creatives, writers, musicians, etc., creative types, and you have to create something or you wanna make something, and you're having difficulty staying focused or doing that, he says, utilize the air element because it's free and expressive. It's just like this freedom of expression to utilize, to really connect with the air element, to do that. It's not purely of a whimsical nature. It actually serves a, a higher purpose for consciousness to bring about the changes that you've been asking for. There's so much change afoot, isn't there? There's a lot of change. It can be very unsettling and, and create instability. And, and, it, and in fact, it has very much has in multiple areas of the, the world and across your globe. It's not something that we are particularly proud of a spirit. We don't feel as though this was absolutely necessary in order to allow for a group of you to awaken, but it has shaken things up quite a lot, hasn't it? Not even a bit, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of you have, have received the wake up call. And he says, for those of us who have come before and many of us are you, you're starting to remember. And unfortunately, it sometimes takes a great deal of pain or a situation to present itself where there's no other options but to proceed in a new way, a renewed way. And that's what you're experiencing now. That's what you're seeing. I know it's hard and I know it's hard the people who are um, in service and, and he's showing me imageries of especially New York City and the doctors and the nurses and the healthcare people and just the in complete imbalance of demand versus ability to provide and the gaps and the feeling of, of frustration and he's acknowledging that there is a great deal of healing for the healers that is coming through. There's a great demand for healing for the healers. And in the physical world, the healers are people like doctors. When your health is at risk and, and that's life or death, you turn to these professionals who are, are mere mortals. They're people, they're human people. And it has been a long time in coming that their souls have requested a deeper understanding a unity through compassion and networks have been laid out before all of you even arrived here on that planet. 
and brought together a new a new time, a new reality, a new I can't quite get the right word, a new it's a new time. It's a new time. A uh, loneliness is an issue. Yes, loneliness is a problem. Feelings are something that has been quite controlled and maintained for years, for many of you, for years and years. And now it's there's really not a way to do that, to keep things together. And in fact, it's it's a it's a perfect time to release those former constraints and the rigid rigid the rigid expectations that you have accepted as your way of life no longer apply you're going back to your core essence the basic core needs and human interaction and correspondence is one of those needs it's why you're a person with a body for the sensory inputs that, that gather, that collect so much data for you and opportunity to discover and to explore and experience. And, and the experiential learning is the most valuable component of your life. That is, although you may have forgotten, that is the... the the, the strong desire that you all share is to have the experiences. And it's not to say that it isn't difficult, that there is sacrifice and struggle, but it's not um, made blindly. It's not made without this deep regard for what is being given, what is being given up, and what is being given of. The being given of is a contribution that you're making to the wholeness of humanity, to the extensive efforts that are made in limited quantities by the human body and the human environment, in the classes and the structures and the systems that you have created and been living in for years, hundreds of years, are now coming into a point where it's a pinnacle. And there is only light that exists here in this space, in this transcendence of time. And you and your willingness to be here is reflected only by your greatest sense of, he says it's like a realization, your greatest sense of, your sense of yourself and all of the combined mistakes, shadow, darkness, wrongs, inadequacies, inequalities, judgments, insufficiencies, are all contributing to push this time of change from within, it is now external. For many of you who would consider yourself light in workers, working, working in the light, you would understand this. If you look externally, does it not seem as though it's a reflection of what you have gone through privately in the past several years? in your own becoming, in your own awakening or remembering the connection you have, the desire you have as spirit to experience life with others 
in connection. The required disconnection in order to ensure your survival as a species. Is part of the determined, like predetermined, I think it is, predestined or predetermined, predefined, that's what it feels like, predefined state, status, predefined status to require a replug in or a choice to replug in is what he's saying. It's like it was required, we, the disconnect is totally required so that we can decide how we want to interact with people moving forward in all the aspects of our life, our close families, our friends, our coworkers, our businesses, our communities, the organizations we belong to, the, the groups that we go to, the things that we attend, the overcommitments we've had. We have to, we're, we're in this place where we are forced to disconnect from everything and then plug in in ways that we, we feel are needed for us. Like the places where we most need the connection is where we plug in and that's the essential, like that's our core. That's the point of it. It's like a forced stop so that you can then decide everything's done, everything's complete, and now you decide how you're gonna start again. So it's a forced stop and then decide how you're gonna start again. And I know like for me, I know that this, this message has been reoccurring throughout this time, throughout the um, month of March, came really strong. And, there, and a lot of people have been sharing it and I haven't really talked specifically about that myself here at Above Life Channel or on my vlogging channel, Fairy Grasshopper vlogging channel. Little bits and pieces maybe, but I think that's it's pretty obvious to many of us. And, and the fact that someone else knows, oh, hey, it's a, it's a, I've heard a lot of people use the term, it's a reset, it's a reset. Yeah, well, the fact that some people know that and tell that to other people and make this big announcement like, hey, here's what's going on right now, it doesn't help people who are not at that place. It's kind of rude. It's kind of like a smack in the face, like, oh, it's this, it's this, everybody. I know the answer, I know the answer, I'm gonna tell you the answer. Because this is not about answers at all. It's really about opportunity. And that's kind of the premise of my whole work anyway, is that it's not about about um, the right, the right thing to do, the one right thing. It's not about answers, it's not about answers, it's about options, you guys. That's, that's, this totally fits with my belief system. See, this is why I wanted to talk with David Bowie because at an astral level, he brings in this energy, this integrity of energy that is a higher intelligence that is beyond what probably we're gonna be able to really understand. So if you, watch this video and you watch this channeling session, it's really gonna be important for you to go back and feel the energy, feel it. So just listen to it again and just feel the information that he's sharing because he's kind of giving you little opportunities or little idea buttons to, or little port, um, ports sort of, so where do you wanna plug in USB ports that you can plug into whatever feels in right alignment for you because you're gonna be in a different state than your friend or your life coach friend or your psychic friend or your neighbor or your sister or your mom or your kids. You're gonna be at different stages of this awareness over this time and that can create some conflict, some friction, some frustration, but your relationships are gonna, going to grow. The, the ones that you need are gonna get stronger you're going to create new understandings and ways of being in your connection with people. And the ones that you didn't need in the first place are just going to dissolve. They're going to be gone. You don't need them. Or you're not going to need to do that as much because you're going to realize that you don't need that and how unhealthy it is for you anyway, the way that you were connected. And so it's really, it's kind of about making the best of things, but in a way that it's not even about making the best of things because that sounds like, oh, it's a bad situation. It's not necessarily a bad or a good. There's really no value judgment in it. There's a lot of fear energy. There's a lot of anxiety and anxious energy and unknown energy, but we can use that. We can work with that because we, you're used to that. We're used to that. We know what fear feels like. We know what anxiety feels like. We know what uncertainty feels like, and none of it feels very comfortable, but we also can then recognize that being uncomfortable is, is the way that we learn. It's the way that we can understand and connect and tap into different resources, different ways of looking at things. Right now, there's a perfect time for us to be able to connect and get inspired with spirit helpers, healing helpers, spirit guides, like, yeah, like famous people like David Bowie, or astral guides, star guides, or 
spirit animals, totem animals, archangels, deities, saints, God, goddesses. There's just so much that we can we can plug into to be connected and inspired to. And also then we can also learn about and work with our own energy, our own energy, what we bring to the table. And we bring a lot. We have a ton of resources within us and around us just because of who we are as spirit, because we're all spirit. We are. So there's a lot of, of information here, not just from David, but from many others in the afterlife and from your own spirit as well. Thank you so much, David. It was so great chatting with you today. Thanks for being here. And thank you for watching. My name is Bridget, and it's my pleasure to channel for you here at Above Life Channel on YouTube. You know that the purpose here is to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope because it's your life. This is your life right here and right now. And the best thing you can do is to live it. Oh, just, just live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like Above Life channel. And also, if you're interested in more of the videos that I do, I have a fairy grasshopper vlogging channel also on YouTube. So check it out. Thanks for being here.